What's up, crafters? My name is Grim Savior, and today we have done it. We have built the coolest flower farm on bedrock. Stay tuned and check it out, and I will show you guys how to build it. So here it is for a closer look, guys. This thing creates about 2,500 drops per hour, including the seeds, which are getting converted into bone meal on both sides here. Uh, which you can then use to repower the farm and then we've got uh, ravagers following our poor little villager around tearing up the flowers having a good old time bumping into each other uh, it works really well and then underneath we've got a uh, minecart collection and yeah let's uh, show you guys how to build it so for this build you will need some chests you will need a dispenser two droppers two detector rails, two comparators, about a stack of rails, maybe not quite a stack of powered rails, about 45 hoppers, you're going to need some temporary blocks for building, four redstone dust, uh, a regular minecart, uh, 13 hopper minecarts, about half a stack of fences, some grass, uh, other building blocks, redstone blocks, a couple of pistons, one villager, two ravagers, two composters, two redstone torches, two obsidian, and some uh, seeds and some random blocks to put in your item sorters. So I've got it all laid out here guys. Now we are six blocks off the ground. You don't have to build it off the ground. If you want to, you can dig it into the ground. It's only because the item uh, or sorry, the seed sorters that turn into bone meal take a bit of room there going downwards. Uh, those are Rogue Fox's design. The At least the item sorter part is. I just added a uh, composter on there to turn the seeds into bone meal because who needs seeds, right? Anyways, so I've got it all laid out here, guys. And the first step is to grab your hoppers and your redstone and your building blocks. The glass is just temporary and we are going to go nine uh, back on all of these and we are going to extend our hoppers to the front there all the way back nine blocks. So I'm just going to do that and come back. All right, that's done and I just want to show that the hoppers are pointed in this direction. Uh, so that's nine nine back there guys and then next you're going to want to find the center of your farm and you are going to want to grab your droppers and you're going to be going one block below this platform i've just got a glass block set up there so that it's easy and you're going to set up one dropper facing upwards and then another dropper facing upwards and then after that you're going to take your dispenser and put it on top facing upwards as well uh, once you're done that you're going to want to take some more hoppers and we are gonna just make a little platform here whoops because we are on bedrock and you can't shift click in the air uh, and we're gonna run a line of hoppers one two three four so that takes us to the edge we're gonna go one more uh, that's five hoppers there pointing into the dropper and we don't need that block there. So we're just going to add one extra dropper here at the front and put one facing into the top of it for good measure. Then we are going to grab our chests and we're going to place a double chest here, a single chest there, and a double chest there. And now we're going to take a detector rail and we're going to extend it with regular rails on both sides. And then we're going to take powered rail like so. And then back to regular rail there and there. And a powered rail here. And then we're going to have to crouch place a regular rail there. And regular rail, regular rail, powered rail. And regular rail. Now we're going to be copying this uh, all the way across uh, except here we need to go like so and then go 
regular rail like that. And we are going to be doing that across the other side here of the dispenser. So I'm going to put this all the way along here and I'll be back. There we go, guys. Just remember, super important to have your detector rail right here in front of the dispenser. And that's the front of the machine. Uh, next, we're going to be placing some quartz blocks here over top of our temporary glass blocks. And we're going to do both sides and then bust out the glass. So that's what you should have there. Now is a good time to be placing your mine carts. Now you want to use hopper mine carts. And they'll start going back and forth. Just like so. Don't forget the one on this side there. And that will be your item collection all done. Next you are going to want to place some glass blocks or glass pardon me grass blocks starting from the center out here when it stops glitching there we go and we are gonna extend it i believe five blocks let's see one two what's that two four five six blocks in all directions let's see here See, how's my math, right? Math with Grim Savior. There we go. Yes, six blocks in all directions. You should have a two block overhang at the uh, back and the front, and it should come flush to the edge of your blocks here that are stopping your carts. So you, once you've done that, uh, you're gonna want to uh, completely uh, fill in the platform. It looks like I'm going to have to move that chest or it won't open. Alright, so yes, uh, once you've done that, you're going to want to completely fill the platform and bust out this corner here. So I will move my chest forward one and build a platform and come back. Okay, so I've done that and I have marked the center and counted. Uh, three blocks in each directions. Now you're going to want to uh, put in your fence like this. Uh, again, with that um, corner block, you know, so it matches that one. And uh, go, I'll go all the way around uh, and get that done. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go around and find the centers. Uh, on the three sides that are, aren't the front and add a redstone block and then when you do get to the front you're going to want to do the same in the center but also put one uh, on each side here uh, one off from the edge then you're going to be putting in your power rail like so uh, here at the front okay and we're going to connect it all okay and uh, we're going to go around the corners like so um, and then we're going to take our powered rail and come across all the way like so. And we're going to copy this on the other three sides and connect the whole thing together. Now that we've done that, we're going to come underneath the farm and get some building blocks and come uh, to the side of the dispenser. And we're going to build one block below it, and we're going to extend it like so. So we're just uh, past the side of the or the edge of the redstone there. Uh, you'll see why in a second. We're going to go like this. So that's just what that's five wide. We're going to add powered rail here. You can see it gets powered by the block above it, and then regular rail there and there. And then we're going to get one more piece of detector rail and put it here. Uh, and then we will add um, a hopper minecart. Nope, nope, nope. Regular minecart down here, like so. Uh, I, the reason you don't want a hopper minecart down here is because it'll start trying to suck items. I believe through these hopper minecarts right through here. Uh, 
and create a problem. So regular minecart, um, if you're worried about like a creeper or something weird ending up in there, you could probably stick a sheep or a cow or, or whatever in there uh, just to keep that from happening or just close it in and light it up. We are also going to add a mi regular minecart mm -hmm. here on the top uh, and get our villager. There's my wife sending me a text message. Um, and we're going to put the villager in here. Hopefully he'll walk into the minecart. There you go. We'll just give him a send off. Okay, now as far as the uh, seed sorters go, we are. I've put some temporary blocks here just in front of the hopper line. And we are going to go one, two, and then we are going to break those guys and then take a chest, put it there. And then from that chest, we're going to place a hopper facing down and then a composter going into it. And then we are going to need some more temporary blocks like so, so that we can put a hopper into another chest uh, to um, collect the bone meal and then so that's what you get there and then we're gonna come to the back here and we're gonna get one of our building blocks we're gonna need that obsidian um, we're gonna take our building block and go like that one two and then that's going to get busted out like that and then like that. So that's the shape that you want there. Okay. And you're going to break out this guy. And you're going to take your piston. Don't need powered rails anymore. You're going to take your piston facing up like so. And then obsidian. Okay. You no longer need this block. You're going to need your torch goes here and your redstone dust goes here and he Whoop, that's not redstone dust redstone dust goes here and here and then your comparator is going to be facing this way okay so that's what that looks like uh, I'm gonna do the same on the other side and then I'll show you guys how to set up the filter for the seeds Okay, okay, once you got those builds, uh, those built, sorry, you're gonna wanna click this hopper and you're gonna wanna put uh, the item that you wanna keep into those chest, well, essentially what you're gonna be turning into compost. So the seeds uh, go in there and then you're gonna wanna place 21 items of your choice. Uh, I suggest renaming them. That way uh, they can't stack. Uh, with anything else right so there you are you're gonna put 21 20 man words are difficult 21 items of your choice and the item that you want to sort in that hopper uh, and then when seeds come through the hopper line along with the flowers the seeds will go down and get turned into compost and you will get flowers into your chest uh, this is your bone meal input you do need bone meal for this farm uh, all of these flower farms require bone meal. The fun part about this one is that the ravagers do the dirty work for you and you don't have to listen to noisy pistons. So last but not least, we've got to put in our friends, the ravagers here. I'm just gonna make sure that we are at least on easy difficult because this will not work uh, on peaceful. So you wanna put one guy, two guys, and then they will Go around and mow down the flowers and bump into each other that way they get the middle uh, and break all that stuff up and then uh, everything will end up in these two chests here uh, and of course you know I've added our bone meal here um, and then if you get seeds they will end up in your composters you can see there we've already got some compost in there it looks a little smelly and yeah, this is it. Uh, I've spent an incredible amount of time developing this farm. I hope you guys enjoy it. Just remember, if you don't want to capture a villager, uh, you could put yourself in there and have all your other farms run 
uh, with it at the same time because this is nearly lag free and you know it's it's uh, I like it that's all I got to say about that and uh, yeah so my name is Grim Savior and hopefully you like what I've made here and if you do uh, please subscribe or leave a like or comment in the section down below and we will see you on the next one 2500 items per hour isn't that crazy look at those guys just running around like madmen it's just crazy